it's Rose. Um, so I wore a full face of Il Maquillage today and I was looking in the mirror and it really, now to be fair, I haven't done this with most of my foundations where I'm just staring at it, analyzing it, but it's been a full day. It's been a busy day. I've been wearing my mask all day and it's really settled into my creases. I used a setting spray. It looks kind of like cakey in some spots. I don't know if I don't know if I like it. Um, and I don't know if I can show you. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's really like settling in here and kind of here and here and really like here. And that might be the most visible to y'all, but it's just in my nose. It's like really just not setting very well on my skin. I don't think it's worth $48. I'm going to keep playing with it and see if I can make it work. Um, I really, really, really wanted to like it because I really love their customer service. And I love that they give back to communities, like, or at least like donate the stuff that people return to women in need. However, is this foundation worth $48? No. Like, straight up, no, it's not. Not for me. Um, I have dry skin. I feel like it's just clinging to it. I moisturize really well. I didn't even, I even didn't use my Tarte face oil, like the Maracuja oil, because it said to use a water-based primer. So I skipped that step. I did that like last night. Um, so far, I'm, I'm not loving it. It's not worth the money and I'd rather use my Too Faced Born This Way for cheap, well, cheaper, and have it look nice um, when I get home at the end of the day. So basically, it's a down vote for me. I'm probably gonna return it, but I'm here with more exciting news. I got my Ulta box. This is how it came. Look at this. It's like, uh, did someone try to open this? I don't know, it's all damaged. It makes me concerned because I hope nothing breakable is in there. I can't remember what I ordered. I know it's kind of like staple stuff. And then that, that 30 piece makeup sampler kit thing that I got, which I'm so excited about. So let's see what's in here. Bubbles, which you can recycle. And you know what? Target actually, my Target anyways, has a recycling bin for electronics. So like things that are hard to recycle, like ink cartridges, chargers, old electronic cords, things like that. They have a bin for that. They also have a bin for plastic bags, glass, and paper. So if you can't find a place that will take your ink cartridges or anything like that, go to Target. They have bins right by the like exit. So I was really happy to find that out. All right, so stuff I knew I was getting. My Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced. Can't wait to have that back in my life. Um, my What's Up by Benefit. Haven't, I, I scraped the bottom of my sample size that I've had for years and years and I decided I needed it because if I was scraping it out, it might as well be replaced. Now this is kind of like something I got on a whim. It's one of those like rose quartz roller things. I don't know. Not 
thought it would be relaxing. And then my Bad Gal Get Bang Mascara. My benefit, of course. And I got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. So it's white, white eye pencil. And because I got because I got the Watts Up and the Bad Girl Bang, I also got a four pack of mascaras for free. Um, so maybe we'll do like a compare thing. And it looks like it looks like there's more mascara in this thirty dollar or this thirty sample size makeup bag. Um, it's a bag like. It comes in a bag and also this bag <laughs> and also there's this um oh and I knew I was getting this this is the collagen hydrogel under eye patches I was like needing to relax and de-stress so I got the roller and the eye patches um to try to hopefully help out with that and the rest of the stuff, I just needed it. I was out of primer. I was out of my Watts Up. I was sick of struggling with the roller lash. And I wanted my bad girl, bad gal bang. Bad girl, bad gal. It's gal. Anyway. So let's see what is in this 30 piece kit. Because I'm really, really, really so excited to find out. Because... I like surprises. Oh, actually, you know what this is? This is another surprise. This is like a, I think it's a skincare sampler surprise. Like, oh, it's a mystery skincare pack. So, let's see what's in that first. You know, I love me some skincare. Okay. And you know, some of the best products that I use I found through little things like this, which is awesome. So it's got an Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. It says Strengthen and Protect. So a facial cleanser by Indie Lee. A Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'm excited about that. I need lots of moisture. Um. Origins Ginseng Oil-Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I've actually been using like their mushroom, um, I don't know what it is. It's, it's really good. I actually used some last night to kind of try and clear up my face a little bit. Um, Nature in a Jar Gentle Detoxifying Cleanser with Agave. And that's by Philosophy. I don't know if y'all could see that. That glare is pretty uh, intense. And then Clinique Super Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 25. It says fatigue plus first signs of age multi-correcting cream. Clarence Double Serum and Multi-Active Day targets fine lines and early signs of aging. And it's got two samples here, the Double Active Day. No, this is the Double Serum and the Multi-Active Day. And what I was smiling about is this. It says good for the skin and good for the planet. They have fair trade agreements like the purchase of banana, ginger lily, ginger lily, leaf of life, and African ebony. And it includes a contribution to improve economic and social development of local communities with har who harvest the plants. I would buy from them automatically just from, th from knowing that. Like, I'm all about a brand that gives back. Because that's what I want to do. <laughs> Our interests aligned. And then I also have a Clinique Blackhead Solution. Um, 
It says self-heating blackhead extractor. I, I'm not sure what to think about that. We'll try it. Cool. I don't really get blackheads. I get giant pimples, but they're not blackheads. Um, anyways, so that's a skincare sample kit that I got for free. And now this is the 30 piece makeup kit that I also got for free. <laughs> So let's see what's in this. It's a cute bag. Um, maybe I should just, hold on. Maybe I should just dump all this out. If I can. I don't know. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a lot of stuff, y'all. Um, I'm excited. First of all, this is a really cute bag. It's really adorable. Okay, so um, this is falling everywhere. Okay, so Hello Fab um, Soothing Coconut Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Mo Priming Moisturizer. I have the full size of this. I like it. Um, I don't know how much I like it as a primer though, but that's the the little sample that they sent. Um, it looks really nice on the skin just by itself. As a primer, I notice that it like balls up even when I'm being very careful to just tap. Um, but it makes your skin look really radiant and vibrant. So this is called Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo. I think it's purple shampoo by Dry Bar. I don't know what that will do to brown hair, but we'll probably find out. Um, this is actually something that I've been wanting to try. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've been wanting to try this. Um, and if I can get it out, that'd be great. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, that's a teeny tiny. Oh good, there's a lid. So it's itty bitty for a setting spray, but I mean, it's just a sample. So cool, Urban Decay setting spray. Golly. Okay. This is called Tanologist Self Tan Drops for face and body. I have Coco and E, but this says it's designed to be mixed with your skincare, makeup, or body care. The drops are easy to apply and 100% customizable. Um, I might put this on my face, like mix it with my moisturizer or something. We'll see. I'm, you know, I'm hesitant about fake tans because I'm so fair. Okay, this is. Smith & Colt Locked and Lit CBD Lip Balm. Um, it's a vegan. And it has MCT oil in it. I actually, I have a foundation by Smith & Colt and I like the formula. It's just too light. So I'm excited to try that. You know I've always got chapped lips. Um, yet another mascara. They're real. At least it's one I like. Um, I really do like this one. It's the OG by Benefit. So I'm going to have so many mascaras. I'm probably going to have to donate some. Here's another mascara. This is the Lash Sensational in Ivory Black by Maybelline. Dang. I'm gonna have to do like a makeup or mascara trial comparison. So here's another mascara. It's Laura Mercier. I think that's how you say it. Laura Mercier. Mercier, I think. I don't know. Am I trying to make it sound too fancy? I have no clue. This is called Caviar Volume. Panoramic Mascara. That sounds intense. Um, 
So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And I've been wanting to try this too. I love It Cosmetics. They're awesome. Their moisturizer is really good. Um, it's one of my favorites, but the drink of H2O wins uh, over them. So let's see what else we got here. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And it's got a ton of shades. Um, I've been wanting to try this for a long time too. And then here is the Tarte Face Tape Sample. Uh, It has 50 shades, um, and there's one, two, three, four, five things to try it. Um, this is a face tape foundation. And then let me see what else we have. This is a giant box. What? Does it come with, is this directions? What is this? I have no idea. It is directions. Okay. Sure. This is the Lancome Regen Ren Renergy Lift Multi Action Sunscreen. I can always use a good sunscreen, so that's awesome. I actually just bought some sunscreen at Target for my face, but you know. That's still cool. So this is an on-the-go wipette made by women for women in vanilla blossom. I'm not quite sure what on earth this is for your lady parts. Okay, on the go wipe for your lady parts, it looks like, because it says gynecologist recommended. Okay, it's odd to have. Anyway, the Body Shop Tea Tree 3-in-1 Wash Scrub and Mask. That sounds interesting. Living Proof Restore and Repair Mask. So uh, that sounds nice and relaxing. Um, this is Exuvian's Depuffing Eye Serum. Honestly thought that this would be all makeup and none of it would be skincare. But it's kind of cool that they mixed it all up. I'm not complaining. Is this the second one, or did I just put this down? Okay. So this is that clearance one. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get two. Um, this is... A Clarifying Detox Shampoo by Fido. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical MD Multi-Dimensional Age Transformer to revolumize. Okay. Another mascara. Who wants mascara? Giveaway alert. If you're still watching this, message me and I'll send you a mascara. Um. This is the Grande Mascara, Grande Mascara, I don't know. It's another mascara. Um, this is VDL Lumilayer Primer. You can always use primers. Okay. This is Nature Lab Perfect Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. 
I can always use some repairing. Then, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Mini Brow Pencil. I've actually gotten this in one of my sample bags before. I just want to see if it's the exact same. Because I put it in this huge box and it's this tiny little pencil. And I actually like it a lot. It's just, you know my stance on pencils too. Probably. I don't, I don't like them. I like my gel. But I do like that. It just takes more time and effort. Um, and then, let me see here. I want to make sure I... Oh, I'm really excited about this, whatever this is. Because this is a brand I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's a Becca product. I don't know what it is. Oh, smelling is going to help. It looks like it's a loose powder, setting powder maybe. It doesn't really say. It doesn't say what it is. It just says Becca, Becca, Becca. It says Becca, Becca. But I think this is probably this setting powder. I've been wanting to try it. Um, then we have L'Oreal Paris Less Texture, More Color Rouge Signature Lipstick. This is matte colored ink. Um, Bare Lip Sensation Lasting Matte Impact. And this is doesn't say what color, wait, does it say what color? No, it doesn't. But it's a very dark, it's a very bright dark red. Um, it's really pretty. It might be IG, I don't know. I wish they would tell you. But I'm excited to try that. Um, and then we also have a Laura, Laura Mercier, Mercier, Mer I'm, I think I'm trying to make it too fancy. I don't know. Um, Rouge, Rouge Essential Silky Creme Lipstick. Uh, and these three colors, and it comes with a little applicator, which I think is cute. Um... And the colors look pretty. Then, almost done, we've got Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, which is one of my favorite scents ever. It smells so good. I bought a rollerball of this because I love it so much. Then we have, I've been really wanting to try this so bad. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray. So I'm super excited to try that. I thought it was a perfume. We have Nest Bamboo and Jasmine Body Mist. Can't smell it from here, but I'll smell it later. Um, and then Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum. Parfum. I'm not French, as you can very well tell. Um, by Giorgio Armani. I love the way this stuff smells. And I feel like even the guy one, if a girl wore it, like I think that she could totally get away with it. So, that's everything. Um... I'm a little overwhelmed, to be honest with you. Uh, especially with all the mascaras I have. Like, I just got so many mascaras. Let me just count. I just have to know how many in total did I just get in a box. 
they didn't like I like this this mixture of samples although this is a little odd I don't know I mean I guess like what girl wouldn't want the okay so here's one here's five here's six Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm just throwing, I should, I was making a mess and I shouldn't have tried to shove everything back in here. Or randomly decided to count all the mascaras because I'm so overwhelmed by how many mascaras there are. Okay. So what are we at? One, four, five. Six, seven, that's not one. Seven mascaras already though, like just in this sample, like we got one, two, three, four in this bag. And then I bought a full size because it's the one I like, which also got me four minis plus four more. So, sorry, let me try to shove all this back in. Um, so lots of stuff to test. Well, I'm shoving this stuff back in here. La 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 la. Even the skincare stuff I like to have in here. Except for the stuff I bought. So, okay guys. I have two of their reels. One trial size bag now bang. One full size. So, literally I have eight, nine shadows, or nine mascaras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mascaras. That's too many for me. I don't need nine mascaras. Like I said, if you're still watching, message me and I will send you a mascara. First person gets it. Okay? Sorry for that. First person gets 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 the mascara. First person to message me. Um I haven't seen this in years, so I just want to look at this. Oh, they added like a puff on the end. That's weird. I never had the full size. I don't know what to expect. Oh, I just love it. it. It blends out so nicely. It smells like memories. Which is weird. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm really excited to have the full size of this, honestly. I've been digging my fingernail into it. This primer is so awesome. I love it. I'm very excited to put these on tonight and use this tonight. And to have my bad gal bang. And to use this under my beautiful color pop eyeshadows, maybe, to make a more intense, dramatic look. Um... I'm just so excited about all this stuff. Uh, and by the way, I am wearing my ColourPop palette. Um, I love it. I think it looks really pretty. I love the blush. I love the highlighter. It looks really natural. It looks gorgeous, even on this mediocre foundation. Um, yeah, I love the eyeshadows. I, I think they're just so gorgeous um yeah i have no complaints they go on so smoothly they blend so beautifully they look so awesome so yeah i'm a huge fan i'm gonna be buying more color pop eyeshadows and palettes and whatever um like i said if you want a mascara be the first to message me and i'll send it to you um other than that, uh, 
Don't forget, Target has recycling bins. Go to your Target, see if they've got those recycling bins. You can take your plastic bags there. You can take your air bubble packaging there. You can take your old print cartridges there, your old chargers for old phones that you haven't had since you had a Nokia. I don't know, take your old Nokia. You can drop off anything you need to there, although I don't think it's big enough to fit your printers, okay? Um, keep that in mind next time you go to Target to gather up all those things that you want to dump into a landfill somewhere that would be really bad for the environment. Take them to Target. All right? So I hope you all have a great day. Again, first person to message me gets a mascara. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Bye.